Welcome back to another episode of Game Change. First of all, I know I said I was working on a Fallout episode next, but there's a particular mod that I've seen in the works that I'm kind of waiting on its release to make that episode, so you'll have to bear with. But for now, we're doing something a little shorter and simpler by looking at the wizarding world of Harry Potter and seeing how we can make Skyrim as similar to the world you see in both the movies and books. So without further ado, take it away, Thor. Ahem. <coughs> Take it away, Thor. Thor, you're embarrassing me. Come on. What do you mean we have a sponsor? We have a sponsor? We have a sponsor! I want to give a massive thanks to Exeter for reaching out to sponsor today's video. Exeter is the world's largest smart wallet brand who craft high-end, traceable, yes, you heard me, traceable wallets designed to keep your valuables safe in a slick and innovative way. With Exeter, you can choose from a range of premium cash and card-holding wallets, coins, what is this, the second era? There's a bunch of different styles to choose from, all the way from phone cases to the standard bifold you're probably used to. They can be voice activated using Google Home, Alexa or Siri, and the tracking card is completely solar powered. Batteries? <laughs> what is this, the second era? The best way to support me is to support my sponsors. So if you're in the market for a new high-end wallet, then click the top link in the description for 25% discount on all products. Massive thanks again to Exeter for sponsoring this video. But without further ado, let's transform Skyrim into the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Now we're going to start this episode off with a bang with our first mod, Fenderic's Magic World, Magic Evolved. Listen, I know we already have a magic college in Skyrim, but we'll get to sorting that whole business out later in this video. For a start, this mod adds a new Hogwarts inspired college and an entirely new world space, which also includes everything from spells to weapons, bosses, followers, and most importantly, dozens of new locations which will make up the beginning of our Harry Potter adventure in Skyrim. To start this mod, you can simply teleport to the new magical island of Menantis for a spell that will automatically be given to the player upon installing the mod. Alternatively, a more roleplay entrance can be found inside the secret wardrobe in Dragon's Reach. Well, if you call secret literally the first thing on your right after walking in. Upon entering Fenderic's new magic world, you'll be greeted with the Menantis docks, which will begin your journey across the island. From here, there are six main areas to explore, which all take inspiration from different universes such as Game of Thrones, Percy Jackson, and of course, Harry Potter. In their simplest forms, these new areas consist of the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, which houses many of Menantis' magically inclined students, all of which are split into four varying houses based off Harry Potter's Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. The Menantis Town, which contains various new shops, taverns, student dormitories, and even a player home. The Safetia Isle, which serves as a kind of challenge arena, and also confused the hell out of me when I first discovered it. Who are you? The Forbidden Forest, which if you've ever seen Harry Potter, you'll be more than familiar with. The Wall, which if you've ever watched Game of Thrones, you'll be more than familiar with. And finally, the Northern Wildlands, which is a huge chunk of open terrain north of the Wall, which is filled with dangerous enemies such as White and various points of interest to find and explore. By introducing these huge amounts of new lands and locations to explore, that would already be enough to make it onto this list, but it doesn't stop there. This mod also adds over 170 new spells to the game, and while I'd love to sit here and show you each one of them like the Dragon Age spells mod in the last video, that would kind of take up the entire episode, so instead I'm going to give you a look at the 19 different archetypes all of these spells are more or less categorised into. The Manipulate archetype adds 10 new spells, all of which allow the caster to manipulate various mechanics in the game. Some of these include locking and unlocking containers and doors, manipulating NPC and player sizes, along with learning and unlearning spells. The Fire archetype adds 14 fire-based spells which focus on inflicting burning damage to the target. Synergies can also be created with other archetypes such as water to create effects such as steaming or to melt frost effects. And in a similar vein, you also have the Frost, Lightning, Poison, Earth, Water, Divine, Blood, Darkness, 
wind, and elemental archetypes, which all add their own selection of elemental magic, providing an endless amount of role-playing options. And finally, for some more unique and interesting builds, you can also choose from the Summon, Teleportation, Arrow, Time, Curse, Belloth, and Magnetism archetypes, which all introduce a whole bunch of more world-bending spells, which vary all the way from controlling time itself to summoning almost any creature in the base game to fight for you, including goats and chickens, if, you know, for some reason you wanted to do that. There's a guide and spell list for every single archetype I just mentioned on the mod page also, so I would highly recommend taking a look at that if you wanted to learn more about the hundreds of new magical possibilities this mod offers, or just try it out for yourself. Overall, Fenderix Magic World is a truly massive mod that will make up the base of our Harry Potter experience and could honestly sit on its own as a game-changing mod in itself. But that would be a little too easy, so let's move on to our next mod. Now with our new Harry Potter world, we also need to include at least one new Harry Potter enemy to inhabit it. And if you've ever watched the films or read the books, I think you'll be familiar with the spooky little bastards in our next mod. Mihail's Dementors is a mod that I've tried out in the past before I began making videos, and it's safe to say that if you ever needed an enemy that you definitely never want to run into inside your game, then this is your mod. Circulating around places of dark power and intrigue, the Dementors feed on the happy thoughts of passerbyers, and when this is translated into Skyrim, I can assure you, you won't be having many happy thoughts when encountering them. For a Harry Potter playthrough, downloading this mod is a must, and just adds that little bit of familiarity to the world to remind you that you're never really safe. Now I will note that the hitboxes on these things are… awful, but in a way that just adds to the idea that whenever you see these little buggers, you're scared shitless. And they're unfortunately the only real creature mod for this video, but if you know of any others that could be fit into this theme, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. Now one of the coolest visual elements of the Harry Potter franchise is the magical jewels that can occur across the series, and the second I saw our next mod, it instantly reminded me of that infamous final battle between Harry and Voldemort. The mod simply titled Magic Duel allows the casters to engage in, well, magic duels while casting spells. The way this mod works is upon charging or casting a spell towards another enemy who is casting destruction magic back at you, both the player and the enemy will automatically be engaged in a duel which acts mostly like a quick time event where you must alternate between the left and right attack keys in order to overwhelm the enemy, pushing back their magical stream. Either party can also lose the duel if their magical bar empties first. Once either side is defeated, they will be knocked back and receive damage dependent on the winner's strength. In some occasions, there's also a finishing move that can occur, changing dependent on what element the caster wins the duel with. And just to add to the spectacle, if there are any NPCs in the area that are not busy fighting off other enemies, they may join to spectate the duel and also root for their preferred caster. This mod also comes with 8 different combat themes that will play during these battles, just to add to the occasion. Now as cool as magical duels are, they only make up for about a third of the classic magical tropes seen in Harry Potter. To complete our spellcasting overhaul, we need two other things, the spells themselves and a wand to cast them with. First we're going to start with the spells with the mod Harry Potter's Spells. This mod adds four different spells to the game, all with different effects mimicking those seen in the Harry Potter books and films. First is the Alohomora spell, which can be used to unlock most standard locks in the game, similar in a way to the kind of spells you could cast in Oblivion. Secondly is the Avada Kedavra spell, which is one of the forbidden curses allowing the caster to instantly kill the target enemy. Third is probably the most recognisable spell, Expelliarmus, which will disarm the enemy when cast. And finally is the Stupefy spell, which for all intents and purposes basically will freeze the target in a paralysis state until the effect of the spell wears off. Each of these spells are essentially still using vanilla systems and do not require the use of a wand to cast. However, if you're looking to completely overhaul the spellcasting experience by strictly using wands, then our next mod, named Harry Potter Wands, can help with this. This mod adds currently four different wands to the game. Dumbledore's Elder Wand, Wormtail's Chestnut Wand, Harry's Holy Wand, and Tom Riddle's Yew Wand three of which can be crafted using one firewood, a felled grand soul gem, and a final unique item depending on the wand you're trying to craft. After equipping a wand, you can select from currently seven different spells by using the shout key which will include everything from vanilla flames, frost and lightning, all the way to avada kedavra and even invisibility spells. This is so far the most complete and functional Harry Potter wand and spell mod for Skyrim, although if you wanted a more lore friendly alternative, you could try full cementum, more staves and wands of Skyrim, 
Now we have our spell casting covered, there is still one other staple of the Harry Potter series that we can also work into Skyrim, and that's how the player can travel across the world. Now whether you're practicing the dark arts or just trying to graduate out of Hogwarts, you're going to need your broomstick. Flyable Broomstick by Gherkin918 is a mod which allows you to obtain or craft a broomstick which will let you traverse Skyrim through the skies. The way this mod works is you have a broomstick in your inventory which will basically be a glorified staff that you can equip and cast lightning bolts from, but upon dropping the broom it will hover in front of you spawning what is basically an invisible flyable horse with speed multipliers. Now this isn't the most fluid flying mod out there, but it does the job, and also allows you to attack while mounted, so theoretically you could finally engage in a sky battle against a dragon which is pretty cool. The next transportation mod is more designed for all you lovers of the dark arts out there who want something more spooky and intimidating. Mist Flight is a mod which aims to mimic the smoky mist trails that various characters use throughout the Harry Potter series allowing you to select from a variety of different colours, speeds and other customisable options like stamina consumption, this mod pretty much works in a similar way to the flying mod beta you may have seen me use in the past. You can tweak all the options to your liking, allowing it not to be too overpowered in the base game, and that's just another option for traversing Skyrim in a more unique way. Next, in a more quick section than in other videos, is the armour, and the reason I'm only touching on this aspect for this video is because there isn't really much to choose from. In this video, I'm using the robe from Fenderix Magic World, Wizard Hat by Sir Who, and also keeping warm scarves and mufflers of Skyrim, because they have scarves in Harry Potter. Just give me a little leeway on this one please, there wasn't many options. Now something I touched on at the beginning of the video was the College of Winterhold itself. As nice as Fenderick's School of Witchcraft and Wizardry is, there's still an argument to be made that we should probably make use of the actual magical college in the base game. And while there are an abundance of overhauls all around the Nexus, my personal favourite, and the one most fitting to the Harry Potter theme in my opinion, is Obscura's College of Winterhold. This is by far my personal standout overhaul for the college. By completely changing the layouts of entire floors, overhauling the look and tone of well-known vanilla rooms, and adding a whole bunch of new mysteries and role-playing possibilities, Obscura's College of Winterhold aims to transform the, let's be honest, kind of bland and small vanilla college into an expansive new experience fitting to the theme of it actually being a college rather than just a magical enclave. From the Hall of Elements being opened up vertically into a stunning lecture hall with a new lower level featuring various new training areas, a laboratory and even a recovery area, to the new towering arcanium that's designed to look like the expansive collection of knowledge that it's described to be. This mod is complete with pretty much everything you could ever expect from a magically inclined college, and it's the attention to detail that this mod offers that really makes it stand out from others. With areas like the forbidden section of the arcanium where Urug's most prized books are locked away, to the simple quality of life areas like the Hall of Acumen which acts as a sort of college cantina. There are so many awe-inspiring areas inside the College of Winterhold that you start to forget what the vanilla college even looked like. Even if you're not looking for a Harry Potter-esque build, this mod is perfect for just about any type of mod list. It's my favourite college overhaul to date, and will be staying firmly in my load order for the foreseeable future. And while we're sticking to the College of Winterhold, I've also included a very Harry Potter-specific quest mod called the Deathly Hallows, if you can't tell by the name. This quest mod has you chasing the echoes of a dark lord who has risen in Skyrim. It's your job to follow the clues left behind by various characters, collecting magical items along the way such as wands bound to different unique Harry Potter spells, a cloak of invisibility, and even the basilisk fang. And as a plus, this mod also completely overhauls the midden which is now overrun with Slytherin students, various familiar faces from the movies and books, and finally a boss battle which has you face off with the dark lord himself. This mod just adds that extra level of flavour to the college and also gives us a solid Harry Potter inspired quest to partake upon. Now before we get into the final mod for this video, I wanted to announce something. We have a Discord server. I've already announced it on the community tab a couple of days ago, but I thought I'd mention it here. It's a place where you can help me build lists for videos like these, partake in future projects, and generally just hang out and have a good time with the community. The link will be in the description of this video, so join if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so the final mod for this video is kind of the reason I wanted to make this episode in the first place, and it's different to the type of final mods I usually feature at the end of Game Change episodes. It's not a new lands mod, it's not a quest mod, but it is a mod that absolutely revolutionises the way you go about learning spells in Skyrim because that's something that is a huge part of the Harry Potter series. After all, Hogwarts is a school. 
Spell Research is a mod which adds a completely new system to research and discover spells from literally any supported spell mod, including those added by Fenderix Magic Evolved. Now, there are many complexities to this mod, and I'm not going to dive into absolutely everything in this video, but the basics is there are three new paths you can take in order to learn or create spells. First is the Scholar, which is the most simple but longest route to perform spell research. The Scholar allows you to study the spells you already know by crafting your own research journal. By spending a selected amount of time researching, you begin to break your spells down, learning more about their archetypes which will later help you come up with new combinations of spells. This means if you study fire spells, you'll be able to come up with better fire spells, and the same goes for other archetypes in the game. The second method is the alchemist, which is much faster than slowly studying spells as a scholar, but does require quite a bit more investment in gathering alchemical ingredients. After collecting your supplies, you can use both an alembic and a cauldron to break down and blend your ingredients together, allowing you to make new elixirs similar to those potions you would see in classes in Hogwarts. And with these elixirs, you can then combine them together in order to make some very powerful new potions and poisons. Finally, the last path is the Adventurer, which will allow you to locate ancient texts and magical artifacts in and around dungeons which you can then break down and study, allowing you to progress in learning the various archetypes which will later make up your spells in a similar way to the Scholar. Overall, this mod is basically the main role-playing element of this build and really gives you that feeling of starting out knowing nothing and having to actually figure out, discover and learn in order to progress in the magical field. Using spell research alongside other mods such as Fendrix Magic Evolved and Obscura's College of Winterhold is a great way to completely overhaul and complete your magical journey in Skyrim in quite a Harry Potter way. But that's everything for this video. Again, if you made it to the end of this episode, then consider dropping a like and letting me know what other mods you thought could have made this list in the comments below. Also, if you want to help support the channel, then there's ways to do so in the description also. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios, bitches.